Hello, hello, welcome back. We're gonna go check out this vault. All the way up here. Rouge's vault. Well, let's go take a quick trip to the train. Nigel's full of surprises. Expecting a fist fight, dear brother.
What are you doing? Oh no, I try to use the e brake. We've got a uh, beer here, beer, uh, 1868 Edinburgh, Sean's tasting notes. When I think back on all the hardship England has inflicted on her neighbors to the north, all the wars, the oppression, the outlawing of the kilt, I'm fairly sure this beer pays them all back with interest. This isn't a beer, this is a declaration of war in liquid form. This is like being struck about the head with a caber and similar Scottish cliches. I'm going to go have a bit of a lie down and have a good long think about my life choices now. Gun and Sun Scotch Ale. Probably can't pick you up that much. Barely picked me up. How's that go? Oh no. Jacob had a great fall.
Uh, we put them back together again. This is... My God, this is Michelle Rouge's vault. <gasps> Michael Rouge's vault? It can't be. You have no idea who that is, do you? I'm the foggiest. He was an assassin. Father had one of his books. Legend says he found some fabulous treasure near Bath that drove him mad. He locked it away beneath London, in a vault that could only be opened by a set of special musical boxes. Special musical boxes? Now who's mad? Just something new. Secrets. City of London and all that. Can I put them all in the right order? When did you? No, oh, there's one. Buckingham. But I will find Bonnie Maud, Mary Mad Maud, and seek whatever betides her. Yet I will love beneath or above the dirty earth that hides her. While I do sing, any food, feeding, drink, or clothing, come dame or maid, be not afraid. Poor Tom will endure nothing. Endure nothing. With a thought I took for Maudlin and a cruise of cockle pottage, with a thing thus tall, sky bless you all, I befell into this. Dotage. I slept not since the conquest, till then I never waked, till the roughish boy of love where I lay, me found and stripped me naked. I know more than Apollo, 
For oft, when he lies sleeping, I see the stars at mortal wars, In the wounded welkin weeping. The moon embrace her shepherd, And the queen of love her warrior, While the first doth horn the star of morn, And the next the heavenly farrier. Of thirty bare years have I twice twenty been enraged, and of forty been three times fifteen, endurance soundly caged. On the towardly lofts of Bedlam, with stubble soft and dainty, brave bracelets strong, sweep whips ding dong. With wholesome hunger plenty. When I short have shorn my sour face and swigged my horny barrel, in an oaken inn I pound my skin as a suit of glit apparel. Guilt apparel. Guilt apparel. The moon's my constant mistress, and the lonely owl my marrow, the flaming drake and the night crow make me music to my sorrow. The spirits white as lightning would on my travels guide me, the stars would shake and the moon would quake whenever they espied me. And then that I'll be murdering the man in the moon to the powder, his staff I'll break, his dog I'll shake, and there I'll howl no demon louder. With a host of furious fancies, whereof I am commander, with a burning spear and a horse of air, to the wilderness I wander. By a night of ghosts and shadows, I summoned M to tourney, ten leagues beyond the wide world's end. Methinks it is no journey. What, uh, what the hell's going on here? I think we're missing a number. Why is that? One, two, fifteen. Where the hell is fifteen? Was there sixteen? We'll go to sixteen. I don't know why they skip fifteen, but might be a reason. The palsy plagues my pulses when I prig your pigs or pollen. Your culvers take our matchless make your can chanteleer or sullen. When I want to prevent prevent with Humphrey, I sup in when benighted. I repose in Paul's with waking souls, yet never am affrighted. The gypsies, Snap and Pedro, are none of Tom's comrades. The punk I scorn, and the cult cut purse sworn, and the roaring boys bravados. The meek, the white, the gentle. Me handle not nor spare not, but those that cross Tom, Rhinoceros, do what the panther dare not. That of your five sound senses, you never be forsaken, nor wander from yourselves with Tom, abroad to beg your bacon. 
I'll bark against the dog star. I'll crow away the morning. I'll chase the moon till it be noon. And I'll make her leave her not horning. <laughs> I now repent that ever poor Tom was so disdained. My wits are lost since him I crossed, which makes me thus go chained. So drink to Tom of Bedlam, go fill the seas and barrels. I'll drink it all, well brewed with gall, and maudlin drunk I'll quarrel. For to see Mad Tom of Bedlam, ten thousand miles I traveled. Mad Maudlin goes on dirty toes to save her shoes from gravel. Still I sing Bonnie Boys, Bonnie Mad Boys. Bedlam Boys are Bonnie, for they all go bare and they live by the air. And they want no drink nor money. I went down to Satan's kitchen to break my fast one morning, and there I got souls piping hot, all on a spit of turning. There I took a cauldron, where boiled ten thousand herlots, so full of flame I drank the same, to the health of all such varlets. Is there no twenty-eight, I don't think. Fifteen or twenty. Oh, there's twenty. My staff has murdered giants. My bag a long knife carries to cut mince pies from children's thighs for which to feed the fairies. Twenty-nine. No gypsy, slut, or doxy shall win my man, Tom, from me. I'll weep all night, with stars I'll fight, the fray shall, will, become me. Third day. I've diced with many royals, and from their gilded palaces, with a crown of green, light feet so keen, I'll have their silver chalices. I took a climb to heaven and saw the stars a moving in pirouette and bedinets for Galileo's proving. I walked the world's four corners and heard the roll of thunder. I smelled the rain and felt life's pain and all the world's wide wonder. I think that's it. I can't believe they missed 15, though. Oh, shut up. What's the false screen?
a big deal about climbing. Though. 